You're watching the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel. For match previews, match day vlogs, match reactions and more, make sure to subscribe to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel. Hello and welcome back to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel where of course we're giving you the latest news, views and opinions on all things Albion. We are back again today with another video for you. It's West Bromwich Albion versus Coventry City at the Hawthorns. Uh, going to be an interesting game. Coventry with more to play for, I'd say, than Albion. Coventry only four points off the playoffs with three games to go. Can Albion prevent, I suppose, a local local rival in a way uh, to get into a Midlands rival maybe from getting into those playoff positions because Albion uh, it's very unlikely that Albion will be doing that themselves Steve Bruce of course confirmed to be staying in charge next season by himself so perhaps uh, this will be a time to experiment or pick some new players pick some different players in the lineup as the season draws to a close but yeah only a couple of home games left here at the Hawthorns including this one so yeah it'd be nice to end the season on a high I suppose with some good results and maybe see some of the younger players get a chance as well but for all the atmosphere clips and uh, hopefully some match highlights coming up in this video make sure you subscribe and comment your thoughts on the game below let's get straight to the Hawthorns for West Bromwich Albion versus Coventry City Here we are at the Hawthorns for West Bromwich Albion versus Coventry City. Three changes for Steve Bruce's side that got beaten 4-0 away at Nottingham Forest on Monday evening. Malumbi, Jason Malumbi comes back into the centre of midfield. Taylor Gordon Hitman replaces the suspended Darnell Furlong who picked up two yellow cards in that game. And Semi Ajayi comes back into the side after uh, Carl Bartley, it's fair to say, didn't have his best game against Forrest uh, last time out. Uh, the same can be said for Caleb Taylor who comes straight into the bench for the first time under Steve Bruce, which will be interesting to see uh, whether he's now gone above uh, the other centre-backs in the pecking order or whether he's now next in line to get his chance under Steve Bruce. But that'll be interesting to see. Looking forward to seeing how Albion get on. They'll be looking to stop Coventry's late playoff push as they're four points away from the top six with only three games to play. It's kind of a Midlands rivalry here at the Hawthorns, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting one to see how Steve Bruce's values end the season. Townsend. Number four, Dora O'Shea. 
Number six, Shamir Jai. Number eight, and your captain, James Livermore. Number 14, Jason Malumbe. Number 15, Andy Carroll. Number 16, Matt Clark. Number 18, Carmen Grant. Number 20, Adam Rich. And number 29, Taylor Gardner Hickman. Oh, Jake. Another afternoon well spent at the Hawthorns then, not, uh, yeah, I could li I could possibly copy and paste what I said after the Blackpool game when I came back after the vlog, um, I think it's probably not quite the same as Forest. I think that was, that was definitely worse, you know, at least today we didn't concede, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just another dreadful performance, another slow, lethargic, um, pff, effortless really, it's probably the word, and not the good kind, um, so it feels like we're just in, you know, we're in, we're not even out of first gear. It just feels like we could go a lot. We could try a lot harder. We could, um, you know, be a lot more positive in our play. We could really drive towards the opposition, but we we just don't want to. I think that's that's the best way I can describe it. Whether that's the that's the style of play that's be they're being asked to play, whether they're asked to be a bit more conservative and recycle the ball a bit more often, but. There were times when we were wide open in that game and Coventry just drove through us and created chances. 
Uh, obviously, they didn't do that every time they came forward, but when they did have the chance to do so, they went straight in behind. And for us, that's the same. But we don't drive into those spaces. They, they were opened up on quite. They were quite open because they were flooding men forward towards the end of that game, and we just didn't take advantage of it. Whether that's the tactics, um, but I just, I just can't understand what Bruce has said to them at half time to make them come out and play the exact same way after half time. I just don't understand how that's happened. How he's gone. Yeah, um, go out there and do the same again. He, they've come out and played no better in the second half. Yes, they've got a penalty. Uh, Grant thinks he's like his friend Lyle Taylor by the looks of things by putting those penalties and strolling up to them nonchalantly. And uh, Well, at least Lyle Taylor hits them with some conviction. That was not hit with conviction. And yeah, you had the chance for all three points today that you didn't deserve. Granted, you did not. Have, we did not deserve the three points today. Um, and, and rightly so, it was a draw. I think the draw was a fair result on balance. But just another abject performance. And yeah, only two more games to go now until this season's over. Uh, but then again, next season doesn't fill me in with confidence now that Steve Bruce seems to be uh, staying in charge of the club. I'd love to see somebody new come in and, and freshen things up, but Bruce seems to be the one who's who's getting the gig, and I think that's that's quite frustrating. I think it's quite annoying, uh, but at least he knows exactly what's wrong with the squad and can try and put it right as best he can. But I'll be getting behind him next season if he's the manager. That's not my biggest qualm. My biggest qualm is if is if the players are still there next season and I hope that a significant amount of them aren't. However, on the pitch today, I saw 11 players that I think probably will be here next season, if we have to think about that. I think largely the players who I won't be here next season have been benched or have sort of been taken out of the side already. And I think everybody on that pitch today will be here next season. So that's your main core of players. Can you improve upon that in the transfer window? Can you bring in people that are better than that? Our budget says no, but let's see what um, Ron Gula can do because so far I think he has got one decision wrong and that is in keeping Bruce on, but he's got the chance to make other decisions and make other decisions well and, and use his transfer acumen that maybe he's acquired over the clubs that he's been to to bring in some, some better players and maybe these players in, in, in these situations, uh, the free agents that I mentioned in the video that I did the other day could be the ones to save us. But if I'm honest, I'm not confident, but I'm hopeful that things can get better. But uh, only two more games of the season to go now. But yeah, another abject performance against Coventry City uh, for West Bromwich Albion and a poor uh, draw at the Hawthorns. But yeah, that brings me to the end of this match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Uh, looking forward to hearing your thoughts on the game. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.